Hi guys, um, some of you know me, my name is Aram from Ellichem Resins. A um, couple of weeks ago we first put a short video clip uh, on the Facebook group showing some pieces um, which have been done with a relatively new technique and a lot of you have been asking me to do a longer video explaining how it's done and what products are involved. So to create effects like shown in these two pieces, let's get a little bit more close up. Move it around a bit as well so you can see the different effects. So we thought we'd uh, give a little tutorial. Um, the products I'm going to use to do this technique is the Mastercast 121 Clear Artwork Resin. I'm going to use uh, what we call in the UK surgical spirits or rubbing alcohol. I think in the States or Canada it's referred to as denatured alcohol, but it's uh, essentially the same thing. We're also going to work with the Resitant White Pigment, a little bit of Resi Blast, and then our new range of metallic powder pigments called the Resitant Plus. So I'm just going to get ready, start mixing resin, and we'll join you in a second. Right, got my gloves on. I've poured out equal parts of the master cast into this measuring jug. I've gone for 400 grams or 400 milliliters to cover this size. Probably slightly more than I think that I need, but it's better to not run out. Also, I'm going to use the time before I mix just to get my white pigment ready in the cup. Because we're only working with one color, I'm just going to dose it up and have it ready waiting with a stirrer stick. Oops, <laughs> nearly an accident. Waiting on the side. In, I've also taken the spirits, the alcohol, and I've added it to a spray bottle along with three drops of Resi Blast and also a good couple of chunks of the Resi Tint powder. And I've made this blend, we call it a maybe a metallic alcohol blend if you want to give it a name. So that's all in position already. So I know once I mix my resin, I'm not going to be rushing to prepare because on a warm day like today, you're going to have less mixing time, sorry, less working time once the resin is mixed. So we'll clear that out the way and we'll get mixing and see you in a second. Okay, I've been mixing the master cast for a few minutes and I just wanted to show you a good idea while you're stirring is just to take the spatula and just scrape around the side walls and also scrape the bottom. Just brings more of the material into the mix, prevents having a static hold, some resin and hardener to the edges, which means you'll have sticky patches afterwards. So we've got a nice consistency, self-leveling is exactly the way we want it. You can see with the camera getting in close. Okay, so now I'm gonna transfer the resin into the cup with the white pigment. And I'm going to fill this pretty much to the top and use all of it in one pour. Now if I can show you just how quickly the resitant white disperses in the resin, just giving it a stir up, you'll see it's a relatively rapid transformation from clear to white. Let's get it all mixed in. I've uh, double capped this one. It's always a good idea when working with plastic cups just to give it a double layer so that you don't, if you crack or damage the cup, you don't have leakage anywhere. Okay, so before we do our pour, just going to make sure that we have a level surface. Um, most iPhones come with a built in uh, level app, but if not, just use a traditional spirit level. So you can see it's quite sensitive and quite accurate. Um, gives you a really good uh, quality spirit level function. All right, so clear that out the way. We're now gonna pour our white base coat, which was the master cast mixed with the white pigment, as you saw. And I'm gonna start in the middle. And it's relatively warm here, so it's gonna be quite free flowing. So what we'll do is we'll pour roughly a small plate size 
and watch it run. And it's running pretty evenly, which obviously is a sign that we got our level perfect. And we'll let that move, and when it stops moving, we'll get a spreader and just encourage it along. Add a little bit more here. Okay, now let's just help it along to the corners. Some of you might be asking um, how come I'm working in an office environment and I don't have any uh, air filtering or any safety equipment or safety mask on. It's because Mastercast, as a lot of you know, is an ASTM certified non-toxic material. So um, it's pretty safe to work with in this environment. All right, let's get that to the edges. And then we're ready to do our next process. Okay, our base layer of white is on. And I've gone for a slight marbling effect just by manipulating how I mixed the resitant into the resin. So it left almost a streaky effect. I'm going to put the heat gun on it briefly just to pop sorry just to pop mixing bubbles and get some energy into the layer which is going to help when the alcohol mixed with the metal pigment makes contact should do fine. Now as I said we've pre-blended the alcohol with the Resi Tint Plus, the metallic powder. We make four colors. I've used the copper in this application and then also just to maximize the cell size I've put three droplets of Resi Blast into this blend. So let's just make sure it's all nicely mixed. We'll do a test spray so that we make sure we don't get any clumps coming through. Just like that. And here we go. You can either go for a concentrated effect or you can leave it relatively sparse and minimalist. It's entirely personal choice. But you'll see that it immediately starts to move around, break open in the resin. Let's try a slightly heavier deposit here. There you go. It's almost like chains of metallic across the white. Just going to make some interesting corners. Very satisfying process because you see the transformation in front of your eyes. And as I said, I've used white today, but other pieces we've done the same way. We would have had the black like this, and it's really just a case of experimenting. You can go black on copper, black with gold, black with silver, or obviously white with that combination also would look quite good. Okay, so that's how the procedure works. Those are the products we've used. So just a short little recap. Mastercast resin, Resitant Plus metallic powder, alcohol, Surgical spirits, which you can buy in most chemists or hardware stores, and a little bit of Resi Blast, and obviously we use the Resi Tint polymer pigment to give us the white. All right, um, there's a couple of things we can do. You could either have left it as it was, which it looked absolutely fine. But what I think it's also worth showing is that if you come over it with a bit of heat, you can blend the colors. You can bring the white up from the bottom through the metallic. And another little handy trick is if you take some of the remaining clear resin that you've mixed and just run a, a bead through the whole painting, 
or maybe a cross piece like that. You can see that it already starts to create a ridge or a dividing line, which we can further emphasize again with a little bit of heat. So if I just run along that line, just get the feathering of the white coming through that line. So it's almost a fracture across the metal and the white. So things like that are cool to experiment with. Um, I leave it up to you guys to try different techniques and different processes. And I'm sure you'll come up with something that uh, not even we've seen. So catch you later.